Oh, look. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you know, because it's going to be posted on YouTube and also, you know, Omega's chat, my chat. Welcome to the first episode of XXXL. It's called Triple XL. This is a new podcast that we, uh, Balvin and Omega, are going to be starting. Uh, that being said, Balvin's not here today. You know what I mean? Type shit. It'd be like that. Kind of. Kind of fucked up, if it, you ask me. Yeah, it'd be like that, but you know, it is what it is, you know. Definitely, definitely fucked up. But Omega, <clears throat> bro, go ahead and um, go ahead and introduce yourself to the motherfucking viewers, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yo, what up? My name is Omega, and uh, I'm a bitch. And uh, yeah, I'm just a, I'm just a streamer. I just be chatting shit. I just be chatting shit. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. I do whatever the fuck mm -hmm. I want. You know, you can mm -hmm. either like that or not like that. You know, who gives a fuck? Type shit. Type shit, bro. <laughs> type shit. Type shit. What 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 brings us here today, bro? The title of this, oh of this, of this episode is called Titties on Twitch. Titties on Twitch, bro. Titties. That's that's what brought honestly, titties, Loki what brought us all here, if we think about it. Yeah. If we think bro, about what do you think about it, bro? Titties is kind of scary, bro. Why why is titties scary, bro? Because I remember one time, bro, uh, I was uh I was younger, I had this girlfriend and she was like, Why do why do guys like boobs so much? And I was like, oh, wait, what's not to enjoy? You know right, I mean? like, that's like, right. Like, like, like that was my head. She was like, they're literally just two meat sacks that if you squeeze them hard enough, milk comes out. And like for the first time, I was like, ew. Right, that's, disgusting. Oh my god, future. Um, so I don't know. Like it just kind of got too real for me, and so like I kind of had to like. I mean, it didn't stop my addiction in any way. Right, but, for sure. Um, I don't know. It's kind of a good point. Like titties is kind of scary. So that's why all these men are so you know what I'm saying. Such, so so, so scared, scared, so scared of titties. Scared of titties bro. Yeah. They're, they're very terrified of titties. Anyway, do you, you, you want to kick us off on this, bro? Because I but before we before we you know started recording for this podcast, I kind of I kind of like got a lot of things off my chest. I've been wanting to get off my chest type shit. But like, mm -hmm. I don't know. You wanna you wanna kick it off? I I I don't know, bro. I'm gonna be honest. I I kind of I kind of want you to give the synopsis because I feel like you definitely are more. I, uh, I bet, bet, bet. I'll, I'll get a synopsis. And before I continue on with this, uh, the reason why I've been so hesitant to talk about this like publicly is because I understand that the position that I hold on this topic is not the popular position. And quite frankly, it's not one that I really feel like arguing about or having to explain because I feel like in a lot of these situations when there is a sort of when when, when – the, the difference in opinions is more so coming down to, like, one's morality, I guess you could say. Like, I feel like you're never going to, like, convince anybody one way or another. But one thing that I do hope is that, you know, by having this conversation, we at least bring a different viewpoint to things that you guys may have already been seeing. Or that right. maybe it makes somebody think about something a little bit differently than, you know, they were thinking anyways. But regardless, this is not trying to change anybody's mind. It's more so me just yapping. Okay. So, boom. This all started because there is this uh, content creator by the name of Morg Pie. You guys may have heard of uh, Morg Pie, you know, at some point recently. And, uh, you know, she started this whole, what they're calling, this is like a meta, which we can get to later about it being called a meta. But, like, it's pretty much a girl who is recording herself from, like, the chest up, barely above the nipples. And when she gets subs... Dumb things clapping. You feel what I'm saying? So, so somebody somebody reacted to it. Another streamer, I think his name is Senny, reacted to it. And then it went fucking giga viral. Like it was baiting so hard too. Yeah, bro. for sure. But like, you know, it is what it is. Game is game. He went viral off of it. It is what it is. But like, so now it goes giga viral. And like clockwork, you know, I feel like we have this discussion. It feels like every year with Twitch regarding sexual conduct. Now it's like, how is this allowed? Twitch is a gaming platform. Where did where did this come from? And all this is going on. And then, and of course, the kids. But what about the kids? And uh, and they were pressuring Twitch to make a statement about this. Like, Twitch, what do you got to say about this? Well, a few days later, Twitch comes out and is giving a big update to their TOS. And despite what a lot of people have been saying, I feel like this TOS was actually pretty clear a lot of people are under the presumption that it was like vague i don't know how the fuck it was vague to you the only way i could see it being vague is if you went off the exterior tweets which a lot of people did but regardless if you read the tos what they actually mentioned is that sexual content like pole dancing or twerking 
or you know showcasing areas of the buttocks like you see a lot of people doing on like hot tub streams or whatever they pretty mm -hmm. much said that this stuff was okay and allowed on twitch now where a big misconception came in is when they started talking about the nudity aspect and what was allowed on twitch because a lot of people took this to mean that you can dead ass start hosting your cam show and start sucking and fucking on twitch that was never the case. If you read they call it, it art. right, if you read it clearly, what it was actually depicting is literal artists that would draw their art on Twitch. They are now allowed to uh, are artistically depict uh, nude content in again an artistic manner. Now, here is what's very important about this that I think <clears throat> the masses are not aware of. This uh, battle between artists and the Twitch TOS has been a raging battle for years. And I think a lot of people are not tapped into the art community, so they don't know. But I have a lot of friends that are artists, and they've mm. been fighting for more clear TOS restrictions for years. Because we've heard so many stories of people getting banned for drawing a thigh crease on an anime girl or for somebody's bosom being a little bit too <laughs> large on their anime drawing. And there was never clear definitions for that. Well, now there was. And that's mm -hmm. all the update was supposed to be. Artists can now depict more sexual body parts as long as the body parts were not uh, expressing sexual gratification, as long as you weren't nutting and coming and you know yeah. masturbating and having sex and all that stuff. Real quick. Yeah, go ahead. Like the way I would uh, phrase it is, is not sexual body parts, more like sexualized body parts. Like body parts right. that could be sexualized, and Correct. as long as those sexualized body parts aren't, because again, like there's a lot of different context. Like, because like this is kind of my take. Like, like there's a lot of different contexts when it right. comes to art, right? And artistic nudity is not is not always in the context of of it being sexual, right? right? It's not always in a sexual. Uh, way and like that's true in every form of art like there can be nudity that's not supposed to be sexual or sexualized um and again all this was saying is like you can have titties in your picture but as long as she's not like squeezing them and like fucking you know yeah, like, exactly. you know, like, like like milking herself she's fine it's like that's that and that's 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 artistic nudity like or like even body painting like there's there's literal there's so much talent in in what body painting is supposed to be and like what it is and like there's a lot of different forms of nudist expression in art. Yeah. And I think it's so interesting that like people all of a sudden forget that like some of the most famous historical pieces is art with nudity. Yeah. I and mean so, shit, all, all, all like the the Roman Greek statues and shit, they all got they they cocks out, bro. Like they fucking little little fucking wieners <laughs> out, bro. Now wait a minute. Not too wait much crossfire. <laughs> little wieners matter type shit. Hey, bro. Um, <laughs> I, I, I am a wielder of a little wiener, bro. So Absolutely, so, yeah. so this happened, and of course, Twitter and Twitch users did what they do best and pushed the fucking limits of this. You had naked VTubers, people coming and fucking everywhere, like the most outrageous shit you've ever seen on Twitch. And I'm sorry, if you really thought Twitch meant that you can start doing that shit, you've got to be the most, like, the most like purposefully obtuse human being on planet earth. Like there's no yeah. way you thought Twitch meant that you can do shit like this, but this is why it's important for you to actually read these TOS guidelines instead of just going off of some bullshit you read on Dexterito or fucking Jake Sucky's Twitter, or whatever that dude's name is, right? <laughs> so like, that's where the problem comes in. So now a lot of people are doing this and now people have the conception on Twitter, like, oh shit, like Twitch just allowed you to start like streaming porn now. And I can't even yeah. necessarily blame them because that's what motherfuckers was doing. They was. I mean, I mean, I mean. Did you see the most critical video? I did not watch that one though. No. I thought it was so fucking bad. It's like, you know, a lot of people were blaming. So like, this was like my like one of my biggest gripes is a lot of uh -huh. people were blaming Twitch for this and not the people that were coming in and abusing that this this policy. I agree with that. And, yeah. And it, and it's so frustrating because like they took the thing on like I don't know what Twitch was thinking. Twitch thought that motherfuckers wasn't gonna get like show their like again do porn yeah like because like bro people were being purposely opposite to be like well art is anything art can be anything but it's like or or like where's the line where's the line bro they showed you the line yeah like they showed you the line and yet people still cross that shit though so i don't i just think it's so interesting how like 
this is Twitch's fault and not like and not like the people that like took advantage of it. And the fucked up thing is, is I, I really wish we had like an artist voice that we could highlight. But I follow a few of them. I'm not going to name names in case, you know, they're not cool with that type of shit. But I, I follow a few artists and they're so devastated by this because, again, they've been fighting with Twitch for about this for years. And they finally got an update that allowed them to create more freely on Twitch. And then bad faith actors and dumbass motherfuckers trying to get quick internet clout ruined it for these artists. And by the way, yeah. these artists of which are the backbone of a lot of our yeah. communities. The motherfuckers I mean, streaming. Yeah, the motherfuckers making our art. The motherfuckers doing all like there's no form or facet of any form of media that exists without these artists. And to to steal that away from them is it's fucked up. And not only did they do that, they're also painting you know, Twitch in this light that Twitch never meant to. Now, you could definitely argue that Twitch should have seen something like this coming, but, like, at the end of the day, nobody read what the TOS guidelines actually did. Nobody read, you know, what they were actually allowing, and then that caused this whole shitstorm, and now Twitch has made an update, and they've walked back the artistic uh, nudity thing. You can still twerk and shit like that. You can do that, but they've walked that back because... People took that in the absolute worst way possible, and now artists are shit out of luck again. And now they're probably never going to get that freedom that they once wanted, and that's where we're at today, and that's what happened with the Twitch TOS system. Yeah, so that's a synopsis for everyone who's listening or watching at a later date and is not here live. Um, and, like, my whole thing is, is uh, this is kind of where my hot take begins. I was upset with Morpie, not because... She was someone taking advantage of, or, you know, someone who was taking advantage of a corporation, right? <laughs> like, I wasn't really upset with people taking advantage of this shit. Mm-hmm. I was more upset with people leaving a trail of destruction behind them when, like, again, it's like you said, this has been something that people have wanted for years. Mm-hmm. So I'm just, I just like, although I think a lot of uh, it's rooted in misogyny a lot of the time, I mean, 99% of the time, right? I mean, a woman exists on the internet. I mean, it, it, like, it's a problem for somebody, yeah. right? But my gripe is, is like, where also do we draw the line of accountability for them to be like, wow, I really fucked this up for everyone else who actually wanted this change. Cause like, Mm -hmm. although I'm not a, like, again, like if, if more pods is a, is a, like, again, her main platform is not Twitch, Mm -hmm. you know, I'm sure it's, and they get not, not no disrespect. Like I don't understand, but it's it's, it's probably only fans. Right. You know what I mean? Or like some other form of content, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's like like no shame again like i think only fans is is great i mean it's very ethical way to consume porn or like whatever you're selling on there but my thing is like now the people who actually wanted this change are fucked because of your actions so like i don't where do we draw the line of like accountability for the bad actors you know what i mean because like so i, I would not Twitch's fault that that happened right I, I don't know how much of the blame goes on morg pie in particular like, cause she's an example. You she, know what I'm saying? she was definitely, she's what, like, was the catalyst for this. And I think there's mm-hmm. a lot of times where creators, like, purposefully push that line. Like, Amaranth has done it. Uh, the one girl, yeah. what was her name? Uh, Something Love, I think, was the other one that ended up getting banned a bunch of times. She was pushing the, the, the boundaries a lot. You know, Morg Pie was doing the same thing. Yeah. I think, like, a lot of the blame has to go to, like, a lot of those VTubers that started, like, literally showing pussy and titties and doing all yeah. that crazy shit on their models. Like, the those are the people that, like, really ruined it. Like, because at yeah. the end of the day, I think the content that Morg Pie was making, and there's a whole other topic of conversation of to whether that stuff should be allowed on Twitch at all. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, I think that's a little bit of a separate issue. I would say yeah. that if the content that Morg Pie and folks like her uh, create on Twitch, if that's going to be allowed, which it looks like that is going to be allowed, I think Twitch needs to add more moderation to it. So they need to do things like not allowing that stuff to show up on the recommended on your home pages and shit like that. Uh, as soon as those things get classified with labels, uh, we've saw this you know conversation happen a lot, and I agree with it. You know, blurring the thumbnail unless you explicitly go and turn that feature off on your settings can be another great way to avoid you know uh, showing that content to people that may not want to see it. Like doing things like that would help a lot in skirting a lot of these issues. My yeah. issue comes in wherein where people are trying to argue as to like why this whole situation is 
this is like bad. And they're saying, oh, it's, a, it's about the kids this, the kids that, whatever, whatever, yeah. whatever. And I think that is such a bad faith, disingenuous argument because all of the content that is served on Twitch, nobody is trying to appease children at all. Unless you're Nick A30. Unless you're Nick A30. <laughs> That's but like, the one example. But like everybody is saying the crazy, like, I mean, shit, I, I'm no I'm no stranger. I'm not even saying that your, your speech <laughs> should be policed at all. But like, I talk about fucking nothing and sucking my friends all day long. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> type shit. Like, th this is not shit that kids should be watching in general. So th the fact that, like, you're seeing, like, Morg Pie do it or whatever is one thing, but, like, every content creator is also saying all of this shit. And I really feel like this could have a very big negative blowback on creators that a lot of people aren't thinking about because you attacking the sexual content could eventually cause a situation wherein advertisers look at Twitch and they're like, hold on, this is going on. This dude on the front page talking about sucking and fucking his homies. This dude doing this. Uh, th hold on, we kind of don't want to advertise on here. And you could turn Twitch into what YouTube is currently, where videos are getting demonetized, uh, 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 whole channels are getting shadow banned. You know, they're not getting their fucking, um, no, no ads are being served on a stream or a video, or they're not coming up in search results or whatever. This could have like serious ramifications for all the content on Twitch, not just the sexual shit. And I think targeting the sexual shit, I think is just really unfair, especially when you have other content creators that also use these sex workers in their own streams, in their own videos. Y'all love to bring these women on your own streams, to bring these women on your own videos in their scantily clad outfits. You love to show them off and get the coomers in your chat fucking going, oh my God, holy shit, you know, type shit. But as soon as that girl goes live on her own channel, now you under the tweets talking about like, get this shit off of Twitch, bro. She was just on your stream the other day. You just had her on your stream, bro. Like, oh, yeah. you, you want to do the, the Riz tips and do all this other bullshit <laughs> with your with your fucking chat the or whatever e the fuck? The, the e dates with all these with all these women that are that got their titties yeah. out and shit like that. Like, you know what you're doing. You're mm -hmm. also taking advantage of sexual content, but like you don't want to admit that. You don't want to say, oh, I'm not I'm not the bad guy. I'm not the one that's doing that. Yes, you are. You know exactly what you're tapping into. You're doing the same thing these women are doing, except they're making their own bag off of it and they're doing it yeah. for themselves instead of like sort of being pimped out by you. Like th that, that that's the biggest difference. Yeah, I mean, I think it says a lot that, uh, you know, like the only time that men don't have a problem with women being, uh, again, like uh, the only time men have a problem with women, like using their body for attention or whatever the fuck like they say is whenever like they're the one like they're the ones that are allowed to be sexualizing them if mm. that makes any sense like they don't have an issue with a woman showing off her body if they're looking but it's if they do it for some like 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 literally anyone else like oh you're just a fucking whore or you're just this, yeah. this, this. like it just is a lot that like so like so many men hate women unless they can be like sexualized it's just, yeah. it, it, it it really sucks and i like, don't that a woman is like confident in in her sexiness and then pose herself or again like does only fans then it's a problem because that's no longer an object it's no longer for free like she's trying to take advantage of me she, right she she she's now trying to make money off of herself that's so but it's like but like sex work and like and like people buying sex i mean or sex related things has been a thing since the dawn of time yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like literally, I mean, like, motherfuckers used to trade two chickens for some pussy, bro. Like, back in the day, like, you know what I'm saying? And, like, and, I don't. And to, to go further, like, like, we want to talk about hosting harmful content on Twitch. What about all the streamers that had Andrew Tate on their platform that bro, gave, that gave Andrew say, Tate the, the platform? streamers that, that have said homophobic and transphobic rhetoric over and over again? Literally. It's like, still on, on, on other platforms. Like, you, you, get, you get to infect these children with these, like, talking points. Like, the children that you want to protect so bad. You get to sit there and infect their head with like, oh, like fucking anti-COVID shit or anti-SJW <laughs> shit, which ends up really being homophobic and transphobic. Let's be fucking honest with each other. Like you get to spit all that shit. But like anytime somebody tries to do something else, that's where the problem is. You know, what's really fucking funny is that the, for the for the group of motherfuckers that hate cancel culture so much, you really trying to get people up out of here a lot. Yeah, I mean, bro, again, it says a lot that like the people that literally constantly Teach, like preach this rhetoric of like yo women are evil and like and like women hate men and like or like yo this generation is full of snowflakes it's so soft like the moment that a woman is like has her titties out on twitch those same people are like <laughs> like what the fuck like why is she sexualizing herself like what about the kids and it's like 
I, like I just don't understand how like people can really seriously like do that type of shit, bro. Yeah. Where they say one thing and like I, well, I mean, obviously it's 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 just to radicalize men. You know what I mean? Like it's just to radicalize them and like what people don't really understand is is like those men that say that shit, they're just selling you rage. Yeah. And they're just really smart businessmen. They don't believe the shit. Like, like they believe the shit that they say, right? Because like they've said it so much, they start to believe it. But they're only saying that shit because, again, it's literally like sex work. There is a market for that. Yeah. There's a market for male rage, and so like these people that 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 buy into this mindset don't realize that they're just they're just it's literally just a it's it's damn near a posi scheme. Like they're selling you ideals. You're literally giving them money to tell to to reinforce your own hatred for women. Mm. So it's it's or or like like you're paying them to reinforce your ideologies. Mm. And so it's so interesting because like it's it's literally all one paradox. Like they they say that the left or that men that are that think like this or women or whatever are soft. They're 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 soft. They're what's wrong with America? They're 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 doing all this evil shit. But then they do like it's 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 a paradox because they do the same thing. Mm. Like they do the same thing. They complain about the same thing. It's it's like that argument of like all women are trash, all men are trash. Like people that say all all women are trash are like like say the same thing as the other side about each other does that make yeah. any sense yeah no I, I get what you're saying i get what you're saying so it, like again i'm I'm high as fuck bro so i'm trying to formulate this yeah. sentence but like it's just it's just a constant paradox bro like it's just a constant contradiction mm. i guess is a better word and mm. it's just so frustrating to see it happen in every aspect like no matter what bro it's it's like it's like we keep having the same conversations as human beings. <clears throat> yeah. Like like it's it's the same topics every fucking week, bro. Yeah, like I mean I, I we said it earlier, but like how many times have we had the discussion or whatever about the sexual content on Twitch, right? And mm -hmm. not for nothing, but like you know, I've been a beater since I was 13 years old, bro. You feel me? Like that's when okay, I that's man. when I've been that's when I started watching porn myself. You feel me? Not only that, but like like, I feel like this whole thing of like, oh, like, you know, the sexual content is going to ruin men. I feel like it's not too dissimilar to when Fox News says GTA makes niggas into murderers or some shit. Like, yeah. it's kind of like a very similar thing of like, the, the, like most people are able to consume this content in moderation. Now, do violent video games make people violent? They can. Does porn infect people's lives and 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 take over their lives? It can for sure, but I think most people can consume that shit in moderation. Think uh, I'm I'm a I'm a bit older than I think a lot of other people out there. I'm turning thirty uh, next year. Damn, um, you know it yeah. is what it is. But like I remember what life was like when the internet started like becoming way more Damn. and more popular. You know, like when the, that was some old head ass shit type shit. You feel me? But I remember life before the internet. Like I, I actually I do yeah. though I do though. But here's the thing: when 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 the internet started becoming more and more popular, you know what one of the most popular types of sites were? The shock sites. You would go on these sites, see motherfuckers oh. getting beheaded. You would see motherfuckers uh. like uh, motherfuckers like uh, uh, nailing their dick to the cross and shit like that. You feel me? You like this was regular. We were eight years old looking at this shit. And shit. Right. You, one of the most popular viral videos ever is two girls one Girl, cup. One cup, baby. This this Absolutely. is the type of shit that permeated the internet forever. You know what I'm saying? But like at the end of the day, I think most people were well adjusted human beings at the end of the day. And yeah. I don't think most people went on to start shitting in ice cream cones and eating it. And if you did, hey, bro, look, I hope you got the bag off of it. But, like, this is what was regular content back then. So to think that, like, kids are these, like, stupid, helpless creatures that don't know about the world around them is so stupid and disingenuous. Because that's just not the case. Like, kids are yeah. aware of what is going on in the world. Think about how, think back to when you fucking first got on Xbox Live. Yeah, I'm talking to you, chat, the person watching this. When you got on Xbox Live, man, you and all your homies was fucking slinging slurs, slaying the craziest shit, doing, you know. Me bro. too. <laughs> type, type shit, type shit. Me too, why? <laughs> type, Me too, why? type shit, but like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, like, bro, we all, like, 
when we're experiencing life, we're all gonna go through so much different shit. We're all gonna learn so much different shit. We're all gonna mature, and it's 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 gonna happen. And I'm sorry, seeing Morg Pie make the titties clap for five gift subs is not ruining that kid's life, bro. I'm I just it's I just don't believe that. It's just not. I mean, a really good example, honestly, of like folks not caring back then and then caring now. I mean, is the Anaconda music video? Like Thank that you. was a big thing for old people, but I don't think anyone our age is like this is real. This is real. Right. So like you young people, like we were all just like, yo, play that shit again. <laughs> that <laughs> that shit, that shit. But um, yeah, no, I mean again, I think that people kind of uh inflate what addiction is. Like not mm. it is, but like they like someone watch porn every day. That's not an addiction. I don't think that's an addiction at all. Someone someone, you know, someone that, that busts five nuts a week, that's not an addiction. Mm-hmm. It might be a routine, but it's not an addiction. I mean yeah. our routines can change. I think addiction is debilitating an addiction is 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 hurtful you know Mm. and like these addictions happen i mean when you're spending thousands and thousands of dollars i mean definitely set a limit for yourself so it doesn't become an addiction um but i don't think that any any like let's not pretend that everyone just gets fucking addicted you know what i mean (laughs) right there's there's extreme cases of, of of addictions to fucking water like someone is addicted to water so much that they drown themselves. Right. So should so should we not drink water? Is is a is a is a child drinking water gonna make them addicted to water? They're gonna Pe- fucking drown. People get addicted to video games. Should we stop streaming video like, games? Like like and, and people get addicted to people watching or fucking playing video games, bro. They get no, addicted to no, watching no, people play video games. No, wait a minute. Uh, chat. <laughs> chat. Can I get some gift Are subs? You, <laughs> can I gag you yet? <laughs> but no, but like that's what I'm saying though. Like, like there's a like there's 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 Additions, but again, like, do you blame the casinos for having slot machines? Some might, mm. but 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 or or like, do you blame what caused the addiction, or do you blame the person? And again, like, not to not to victim blame here, right? But what mm. I, but like like my what I'm trying to say is is like, there's there's a level of accountability. If if you've had anyone who struggles with addiction in your life, you start off being really upset or like you know sad. Right, like you want them to get better. You're like, bro, we're gonna help you. But then, like, if they, you know, like, if they keep on kind of like, and this might sound crazy, bro. Like, I'm not trying to make this sound crazy, but there's like a certain level of like accountability in addiction, mm-hmm. right? The people who who struggle with that, and, and I'm in no way saying that like it's easy or whatever, right? Whatever. But what I'm trying to say is, is like, why do we blame? Like, why do we see titty streamers and think that, like, that's going to cause a porn addiction? Right. And if that did cause a porn addiction, where is the accountability for the person that sat there and, like, th- and, like threw their life away at this? Like, did they have nothing going on? Like, you know what I'm saying? You blame the sex worker. You blame the casino. You blame you blame everything that could have caused it. But, like, where does the accountability come where, like, I lost control? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I, I, like, I, I, can, I can see that to some degree. I would say that, like, I think, like, I don't like how people are trying to equate the gambling addiction shit with the porn addiction thing because these are two right. entirely different very levels different, of addiction. Very different problems. Like, the, the, the gambling addiction thing, like, this is, like, s- truthfully debilitating. Like, this is why gambling is so heavily regulated and why certain sites are not allowed to be used in the United States because this has been proven to be like destructively addictive, right? Fuck yeah, bro. Porn is not on that level. So like trying to equate that is crazy. Also, the way that you can get addicted to one or the other is way different as well. Like you could go to like Very. Vegas one time and that's it. You're you're like you get a, you get drawn in by whether it's the flashy lights, the 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 casino games or whatever it is, like you can get roped into that shit. Of course many I'm people going to Vegas in a few months. <laughs> of course many people gamble responsibly and that's and that's fine, you know it is what it is, but like millions upon millions upon millions of people visit like porn websites every day. If porn really was as destructive or as addictive as a, as a lot of people say, there would also be regulations on it to the level of something like uh, gambling, but there's not because it's just not as destructive as people are saying. Now, you know, I think it should be though. I like, I think, I think, I, like, because again, porn is hmm. you can spend a lot of money. No, like, I, 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 I was, I was money. gonna say, like, now that's not to say 
that yeah. people still don't do it in excess, and that is true. But I Very don't, rare occasions, though. I don't think the gateway drug to that is Morg Pie's Twitch stream, personally. I would, but okay, would you agree with the take that, no, nah, I have no stats to back this up. Mm -hmm. I have no fucking clue this is true. This is all speculation. Right. <laughs> I feel like, though, more people are most likely addicted to porn than addicted to gambling. Because gambling, mm -hmm. it comes with a lot of, again, it's very regulated, and porn isn't. I don't think I would agree with that. I don't, okay. I, I don't think there's very many people that are actually suffering from, like, a debilitating addiction to porn. Like, if we're talking, like, a, a debilitate, I feel like, debilitate... I feel like it's more than you might expect, though. Like, I like because, again, I don't... Again, I think that addiction is very... Like, it's rare, but, like, porn is very accessible, bro. Yeah. I mean, again, like, like everyone has the internet. I think... Okay, if you're going off of, like... If you're going off of like pure numbers, then mm -hmm. it might be true just because the level of accessibility. But I think what you have to take into account is the ratio of gamblers to addicts and the ratio of yeah, yeah, porn yeah. watchers to addicts. And I think if you take into account that ratio, I would be, again, I don't have the numbers either, but I would be willing to imagine the ratio of gamblers to addicts is way higher than the ratio yeah. of porn watchers. I mean, watchers. no, you're right, because again, like porn is so accessible, so more people are gonna are gonna watch it, so there's definitely gonna be less people who are addicted in the in the whole ratio, mm. or, you know, ask the ratio of it, but yeah, no, I mean, you're, you're, you're definitely right on that. I think it's more like, I don't know, man, again, I'm, were you someone who, because again, like, we're kind of talking about, like, you know, like Twitch's TOS. Yeah. Were you someone who had a problem with them, or who, didn't have, or who thought them banning gambling was a good thing? I did, yeah. Yeah, I did too at first. Like, I, I did too. But then I kind of started thinking, like, this isn't a web... Like, again, this isn't a website for kids. Yeah. You know? And, like, because, like, the, the, the biggest argument was this is, like, so many kids are going to become addicts. But it's like you said, like, it's so heavily regulated. It's not the kids. It's, it's you got to worry about the fucking young adults that are going to become addicts. You know what I mean? But I feel like if this... It really isn't a kid's website, then... I just don't think that gambling, like it, I don't really give a fuck if it, like that it was banned, right? Like I'm not right. riding for it. For sure. like, I'm, for not, sure. I'm, not, I'm not trying to get a steak deal. Yeah, yeah. But I just didn't see why it fucking mattered as much as people said it did. Yeah. Like I, everything they said, I definitely was agreeing and, and like mm -hmm. I was understanding. But then I was like, but bro, like again, who gives a fuck what these kids is watching? Mm -hmm. Like, like if this is an adult website, bro, like, like, okay, what you should be more worried about is, them FIFA packs that them little kids be able to put it up. That's, <laughs> that's, that, that's a gambling addiction, not, bro. That, one that I suffered from. No, nah, nah, you spin. Now, I would go ahead and say this. I think the gambling thing is a little bit different. I do think a lot of content creators were very performative in their hatred of the gambling that's streams. Hobby. <laughs> <laughs> and now, look, look, I got a lot of respect for the song, bro, but come on, bro. Nah, come I, on, bro. I, I, I know you be in Vegas fucking tucking them shits, bro. I think with, with the gambling thing, my biggest problem with the gambling streams was not necessarily that people were, like, gambling on Twitch. I think yeah. it was – I don't even know how this was legal to do. The fact that they were gambling on the, sh on the sites that were sponsoring them with money that they didn't even – Oh, that's really that, yeah. That I sh should, I think niggas should have saw jail time for that. Like, I don't even know. No, I mean, bro, T R almost did. I mean, like, you like, feel, like, like he was doing the skin gambling and yeah, exactly. You gotta like, disclose it. That's the shit. And they did disclose that they're being sponsored by it, but I think it was a huge conflict of interest and. Some and no matter no level of like oh like you know uh uh don't gamble whatever whatever like you're gambling on a site that's paying you millions to gamble on that site and loading up your account with money that doesn't even belong to you you're pretty much like that money's not even real yeah you're not even gambling for real you feel me and like, like you're just like you're just printing money on a stream like right like you're like, money laundering and to me <laughs> that was such a huge conflict of interest that's why I wanted it gone off of Twitch if motherfuckers want to stream slots for thirty five hours a day and do their own thing what go for it. I don't give a fuck but accepting yeah. but the spot gambling on the stream or on the site sponsoring you and getting your account loaded up with their funds and not yours huge conflict of interest I was very against that yeah no I mean you know what like again people were very like performative and I wasn't really hearing that that take yeah. a lot why this podcast is made you know what I'm saying like 
This better than motherfucker. Where? Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Triple XL. Fucking episode one. Uh, uh, I was missing. Fucking, fucking, fucking. It's fucking. It's real. You feel me? Take shit. Fuck over here, bro. Take shit. Fuck, but take shit. What I'm trying to say is though, people were very performative during, uh, the gambling shit. The same way that the, they're being performative now. Mm -hmm. And this is the paradox I was talking about earlier is like, the people that hated gambling are like, well, I mean, like, y'all just hate women. You know what I mean? And it's like, it's like, I don't think, I think criticism on women gets labeled as misogyny way too quickly sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like, I genuinely do. I think that. Again, I am all for women, bro. I mean, I'm all. I mean, sure. again, I'm very leftist. I'm very outspoken. I'm, but dude, I mean, again, like we also have to be able to call out bullshit when you see it, bro, mm -hmm. and it not just be hatred because they're a woman. Now that being said, ninety nine percent of men online is yeah is a piece of shit. Like I, I the, the thing is, like I can't. The, so I'm gonna draw a parallel to something really quick. Uh, right. So. Do you remember when The Last of Us 2 came out? Yes. <clears throat> so a lot of people that hated The Last of Us 2 really hated it because they were just being transphobic and just being like yeah. awful human beings. Now, I also hated The Last of Us 2, but for completely different reasons regarding the plot and what they did with the characters and shit like that. However, anytime I would say that I hated The Last of Us 2, I would get lumped in with the transphobic people because that was exactly. the loud minority of the people, right? So in that aspect, I couldn't even blame people for assuming that that's the position I had because the majority of people they talked to, that's the position they had. Now we bring it to you know criticizing women and most men on these platforms that do criticize women do it in an unfaithful way, in a bad yeah. faith way, and in a misogynist way. So. I understand why it gets taken as misogyny a lot of the time because a lot of the time it is. It, that that yeah. is where it's coming from. However, there definitely are criticisms to be levied overall over some of the behavior that has you know been transpiring on Twitch and shit like that. So again, yeah, I agree with you that sometimes it gets labeled like that too quickly, but I do think there is a reason for that. Dude, you're so you're so smart, man. Like, oh. like random glaze, bro. But like, <laughs> I'll try and I'll try and formulate a sentence, and it just sounds like a big bunch of mumbo jumbo. You know what I mean? Like, mm. I'm just fucking yapping, and then like you'll hear my yap and be like, I'm gonna formulate a very well put thought right now. That's just that minutes. just comes with age, bro. Like, I'm, I'm, Dude, I'm 45, like, bro. I'm sitting here and I'm like. I'm trying to paint you this picture, but I don't got the right fucking brush, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm trying so hard, and then like I'll say something, and you're like, "Okay, you you said a whole bunch of bullshit, but I I get it though." Yeah, and I, I I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Dude, this is this is gonna be a, a an amazing show, bro. It's gonna be wonderful. I can't wait for Balvin to show up next time. Uh, Touch it. But nah, so like, I definitely like, bro. Like my whole thing is is it's just. I just hate how bitch made it left is, bro. <laughs> like I've said this my whole life. Mm -hmm. I feel like the only thing stopping the left from actually making change is the left itself. Mm -hmm. Because like the left, we all think that we are morally superior because we're not pieces of shit. Instead of thinking that we're just normal people for not being pieces of shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, there is so a lot like of moral, moment, com, uh, more superiority with people oh, that are more left leaning, for sure. Absolutely, and I think and that's like, I think that's why it creates so much animosity because, like, if you're if you're not in alignment with the left and you have people that are feeling like they're talking down to you or like they're on their high horse, like you're gonna immediately have a bunch of animosity towards that person inherently. Yeah, I know. I mean, absolutely. I mean, again, I feel like a lot of like. Um... <sighs> I feel like the like if someone is a little bit outspoken on on the left right like even like you and I right like I'm someone who's very vocal in my own way mm -hmm. I, I'm very I'm very left leaning but I'm also very uh, common sense mm -hmm. too like I'm not just going to like support someone blindly because just just because you know what I mean right um, that being said it just feels like a lot of times like a lot of these conversations on Twitch is just like the left being 
too afraid for some accountability. But it, but then even even that being said, it's, it also feels like uh, it's a lot of like incel right winged alt right weirdos that are like mm. just just doing the same thing, like being being be, like it's like two people being like 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 having a pussy off. It's yeah. like who's who's more bitch made? I and think so. Like it just. I think a, a big thing that happens, and I, I've been saying this for a while. I think a lot of people instead of having their own morals or values, they're more interested in appeasing the quote unquote team that they're on. It feels like yes. it feels like it's like a yes. sports game and people are on teams and they have to like stick with their team rather than actually think something for themselves. So I exactly. think Exactly. People- and in the moment yeah. that someone on their team starts saying mm-hmm. a little bit too like 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 too too non conforming ideals. Right. They they then get told that they're like a piece of shit and like and like uh, uh they're a liar and they're fake and then but that's like the fastest way to lose someone to the alt right weirdos mm. is to like if they ask a question or they're or, or they gen- or they're being genuine and then they get met so with you like racist nothing now, but- you misogynist now, you, exactly, you know, exactly. Yeah. And then who's there to pick them up? Ben Shapiro, <laughs> fucking <laughs> fucking Sneeko. No, but like real shit though. Yeah. Like there's so many left leaning people who are now alt right incels because. They flew too close to the sun, and instead of being like, it's okay, like, like you know, like, keep flying, Icarus, we, like, burn them with, like, a thousand, yeah. with, like, a thousand heat rays, bro. And it's like, I just think that a lot of these conversations on Twitch, because, again, this this artistic nudity should not have been a fucking thing. It shouldn't. Right? And then, so, you had, you, you had the alt-right fucking incels that were, like, being bitch-made and being soft, and then you had the left also not taking accountability for some of these fucking people that were bad actors, the VTubers, yeah. the, the, the titty streamers. I mean, both sides, back to the paradox, doing the same fucking thing. Mm. I mean, again, I, again, like a lot of times, men, when they say, where's the accountability? It's rooted in misogyny. Mm-hmm. But dude, that, that 1% of the time when someone who's like, not like someone who's an ally asks the same question. It should not be met with the same fucking yeah. like, like it shouldn't be met with the same thing. Bro. Yeah, because I think a lot of times like like bringing up like uh, a topic of conversation or something you might even disagree with. Like I'm still on your side. Like you know I'm I'm with you on this, but like I'm either unclear on this or I think that we can like retool or relook at this one aspect that I think that we're kind of like dropping the ball on. I think. Yeah, I, I I would agree with that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, bro. Again, like we like people always say, two things can be true. So who just said that 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 those two things are just two different perspectives on the same thing? Mm-hmm. Like, there's okay, look, like someone once said this to me, and it was so fire, bro. They were like, how many ways? Like, there's so many ways you can add to four, which means that there's a lot of solutions to the same problem. Right. And like, that's so fucking genius. Like, mm. what a what a good way of looking at different perspectives of like. There's a lot of truths to be said and so many different perspectives that like to to only blindly follow one and not even ponder all the other ones, even if for like a brief, hmm, no, you're dumb. But like like bro, to to not ponder any other perspectives is to just be a sheep. Yeah. And like to just walk the path in front of you. Like if you open your eyes big enough, there's so many different paths you can take and end up at the same place. Yeah. So it's like I don't really understand why like it's just either it's either black or white. Like you eat, like you have to say the exact same buzzwords. Like for example, right? Selena Gomez. Who the fuck is who, who fucking cares what Selena Gomez has to say about fucking Palestine? <laughs> why the fuck do I care about mm. that? Why am I looking to Selena Gomez for Palestine? You know I get bro bro bro. People care more about what Selena hasn't said about Palestine than what Joe Biden is saying about Palestine. Mm. And I think it's so funny because so many people like again to like Palestine is such a it's such a good example of like that one thought pathway. First of all, free Palestine till they sure. fucking die. Hundred percent. Right? Um, but that being said, a lot of people are saying free Palestine for just just to fucking do it. Mm-hmm. Right? I mean, it's it's like posting your black square. Like activism isn't just spreading awareness. Right. It's not just making a TikTok. It's not just like, you know, doing this shit for impressions and views. Activism is getting that awareness and then going to your local district of you know office or like your like seat holder of your district and 
asking them these same questions about Palestine. What do they think about Palestine? Mm. Right. And then if they don't match up with how you think you vote them the fuck out and get someone who does think that way. And then they keep climbing up like the only activism in today's age is not just spreading awareness. If all you do in your form of activism is is make a tweet then you're lying to yourself. You're you're you are false flagging activism, bro. You're not doing that, bro. You're not like activism, but you're but 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 the first part of the world you're just not doing. Mm -hmm. Where where's the activity? I mean, activism used to be you had to like like you was putting something on the line, bro, to lose. Like yeah. like you you was fighting for something. And again, bro, wait till I find out what's happening in South Sudan. But mm. they don't give a fuck about South Sudan because Twitter don't, don't, don't care about South Sudan. Mm. The same way that they don't give a fuck about X, Y, and Z until, until everyone else does. Yep. And again, but it goes back to that paradox where like it's, it's the like people just, it's the same <laughs> fucking problems every, every day. And people are saying the exact same thing like to each other, about each other at the same time. And going to your, to your point about people doing the same shit, like the same way that somebody will see some like uh somebody on twitter put like free palestine and put the palestinian flag or whatever like the way that people do that is the same way that a lot of people are supporting israel i actually think that a lot of folks that that are supporting israel are just like they don't know what's happening i think they they turn no. on they turn on the news or they go on yahoo or fox news or cnn or whatever and they see hamas is this terrorist group that's killing is israelis or whatever the fuck and then they're like oh my god like, I stand with Israel. Like, I didn't know this was happening. This is crazy. And they don't understand what's happening because the narratives is getting completely switched on its head during for, for different media outlets. So, like, yeah. I can't necessarily blame somebody for getting fed wrong information and having an opinion based on that wrong information, you know? Right. Um, now, I could hold you accountable of, like, you should research this shit before you start having opinions on this shit, especially if you're going to engage in any discourse about this shit. But regardless, that's a whole other topic. But like somebody yeah. posting, you know, I think this is what happened with a lot of celebrities when like the Hamas attack happened and a lot of celebrities mm -hmm. were like, oh, like pray for Israel or whatever. I think everybody just saw the headline like, oh, shit, like, you know, however many Israelis like capture dead, whatever, from a Hamas attack or whatever. And I think a lot of celebrities didn't know what was happening. Like, oh, my God, a terrorist attack? Like, you know, pray for you yeah. type shit. And they didn't realize, like, how nuanced this situation actually is. I mean, yeah, because, bro, there's so much Islamoph or Islamophobia, right? Is that what it's yeah. called? Yeah, Islamophobia. Bro, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. our, like, our mainstream news media, I mean, there's a whole lot of Islamophobia there, bro. Like, Ever since 9-11, it, bro. Yeah, I mean, bro, again, because... Americans hear terrorist attack and they think Middle Eastern. They yeah. think they think Al Qaeda. They think 9/11. And I mean, again, bro. So like, this, this is kind of my hot take about this whole situation. And I, and I kind of want your opinion. I'm very open to learning because I'm still sure. trying to find the right and, words. And I'm formally. also I'm also still open to learning. I'm not I'm not saying I know it. Yeah. I, I'm stupid yeah. as fuck. So if anybody got yeah. like any you know comments, questions, concerns, or whatever, feel free. But good. Look, yeah, no. I mean, <clears throat> for all the people who are live and who are going to watch this later, like I'm definitely down to. For y'all to, you know, conversate about what we say. We we are definitely two, two, I mean, two and three people that just are open to discussion. And yeah. I think that again, like it's like I said, there's so many different perspectives. I try and provide my my own and I try and really formulate my own original I like I really try to not just be someone who 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 regurgitates. Right. So what I will say is kind of like how I feel. There's a lot of I think that it's not a bad thing for people who are from Israel to be sad about what's going on. And I don't think that someone being sad and being from Israel makes them anti-Palestine. Mm -hmm. I think that, uh, you know, again, like for example, right? Like when we first learned about 9-11, I mean, we were all saying, fuck the Middle East, you know? Cause like our parents were saying that, the schools were saying that, like bro everyone was like that's that, that, that's scary until you met someone from middle east and they're like nah we're you know like it's not and you're like oh mm. true like blah blah, blah. <clears throat> so anyways that being said it's like when we got older we realized that 9 11 happened because of what america was doing in the middle east before right before 9 11 right. right and we realized all the wars they funded and all the terrorist groups that they funded and then and then we wondered why you know again they blame us for what's going on there and so what you what what 9-11 was was the was that group's response to what's been going on 
Mm -hmm. and, and you know, you know where they're from. Now we were upset at first. Now do people hold us accountable for being upset during that time and saying shit that we didn't mean or like not understanding? No. Mm. So my whole thing is, is like instead of you seeing someone who's upset to their homeland, someone who again, because it's not fuck Israelis, it's fuck the Israeli government. Right. Of course. And so instead of actually trying to understand that perspective we then say oh you're not you're not blindly following palestine you're mm. you're upset that 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 israelis are dying too mm -hmm. you're a zionist but it's like no i mean <clears throat> that being said it's like when you look at it from that point of view uh i mean again hamas did a terrorist attack and like what comes next is then saying why did that happen yeah. Right, it's the same way how like in 9-11 we were like oh my god we like oh my god terrorism and, and then we never asked why did that happen though mm -hmm. like there's there's like again there's no accountability with 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 that that government right like they want to just act like that terrorism attack came out of nowhere right so that's the big issue but don't don't blame like civilians for that mm. you know i feel, mean? I a, feel lot of, a little nuanced about this because mm -hmm. On one hand, I see what you're saying. At the end of the day, regardless of, you know, what's going on or what, you know, side somebody might take, if you're Israeli, there's a real chance that, you know, somebody you know could have, you know, been injured or killed or, you know, yeah. taken from you or whatever. You know, that is a very that is a very real possibility and it's I think it's okay to be sad for that reason. However, one major difference between now and what happened in 9-11 is that we're so interconnected now to the, to yeah. the entire world. So if you yeah. are Israeli and you are, you know, sad for, you know, your, your country and all that stuff, like, that's fine. However, there, there, it, this is not like how it was in 9-11. Now you know why this has happened and you know what your government has been up to. And yeah. yes, you're allowed to be sad, over the loss of lives because people losing their lives is sad. Like that mm -hmm. is nobody want nobody wants to see the loss of lives. However, if you are Israeli and you know your government is doing is committing like literal war crimes, then you got to pressure your government to to stop this. Otherwise, Absolutely. more people you know will have their lives lost and furthermore more civilians and more innocent Palestinians We'll be having their lives lost. Lives lost, yeah. Like, at, like again, I understand, and you made a good point in saying that, like, when before we knew what the fuck was going on, and not only that, our government straight up lying to us. Like, I'm sure, and it is in Israel, their their government is like, yo, Palestinians, they're like, they're evil, they're the devil, for, they're fucking for doing decades, too, yeah, for yeah. decades. So like, it's 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 like the the Palestinians for them are like what the Middle East was to us. The difference being is that, like I said. We're so interconnected now, but when the government wants to brainwash its people, it's usually pretty effective at doing that. So even though you are connected to the rest of the world, it can still be hard to deprogram that's, you know, brainwashing that your government has done and shit like that. And uh, so I, 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 I see that, but it's also like, if you are just ignorant to this, it's hard for me to have sympathy for you because you're, you're just in a place of ignorance. And I feel like in yeah. this day and age, there's almost like no excuse for that level of ignorance there. Uh, yeah, but see, so like this is the only this is the only pushback I'm gonna give you on this topic. Yeah, for sure. Go ahead. But your point of view is not the same as majority of the lefts, mm -hmm. where like you can acknowledge that what I just said makes sense, mm -hmm. and 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 but but then I can also not like like we agree with each other, different perspectives. Though, right, right. Of course. Yeah. And so but that's what I'm saying, though. So like like my whole thing is like there's a lot of people who would be open to what you just said if you said it to them. Mm -hmm. But like like there's a lot of like, like there's a lot of teachable moments in right now. Like if you see someone be ignorant, the first response is to be like, you're fucking stupid. Mm -hmm. Shut the fuck up. But like. I don't know, like it just feels like that energy is so misplaced. Yeah. Like you could really try and inform that even that's activism trying to actually spread awareness inform somebody and like maybe just maybe if you treat them with some respect they will feel obligated to, to do the same it's like we said earlier you can get through life being respectful mm -hmm. you would be surprised how if you concede on one thing people are so open to being wrong themselves right 
if you are okay with 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 being like you know what i understand your perspective but 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 now let me say this to you it, if they feel understood they'd be like you know what i didn't see it like that before and they mm. might not always do that right sure. but, it's, but, it's, but it's the same way the other way no yeah, yeah and so yeah. it's like <clears throat> i think it's so important that like we don't have hostility to people who are being ignorant right now. And I'm because again, it, we should all be trying to inform people in, in our own way. It yeah. is truly activism. And so like, uh, but again, my, but like my whole thing is, is like, I'm, I like, it's a really hard topic, bro, because like, I don't want to like this. I like what I'm saying stems from just seeing blind following mm -hmm. and people speaking out their ass and just, and just like, again, like taking this Palestine shit, uh, and like treating it like it's a game, you know. Um, that being said, I mean, it, it, I in no way like have sympathy for anyone who is like Zionist. You know what I mean? Yeah, like a sure. piece of shit asshole. But like, let's also not pretend that a lot of like it's a lot of it is people getting defensive, especially people that like don't really know what's going on because again, like they've been lied to, and then like they just see uh, every everybody attacking them for no reason because again some people are blindly following right yeah. so a lot of it is is misplaced because a lot of people just get defensive like they don't know bro mm. so like a lot of people are, are, are using this to be anti-semitic like super fucking weird to jewish people that haven't even done anything wrong yeah well, you know well, I mean? one, one so of my then, like, least favorite things about you know being left-leaning and uh having a lot of you know and knowing a lot of people that are also on the left is how like uh hateful people can get on like the flip of a dime in a sense to where it's like uh mm -hmm. like let's say for example uh somebody says something that they don't agree with or whatever and seeing that flip of like them all of a sudden like really insulting somebody's character or whether or even like something small like their appearance or saying that somebody's fat or their teeth are fucked up or they're ugly or whatever the fuck. It's like, so you've been thinking this about this person this whole time and now you let it go because they said something you didn't like or yeah, something. Yeah, they're I, like I, a fan favorite. Yeah, I feel like that's just like, that's always been really weird to me because at the end of the day, to me, that means you're holding on to all this like negativity, right? Somebody that you used to call a friend or somebody that you used to like or admire or whatever, like the the millisecond that like all of a sudden like they said something you ain't like now it's fucked them and then you attacking their whole character you attacking how they look you attacking how they live and all that shit and it's like it's like damn like so you just thought that shit the whole time then you always thought that motherfucker was ugly or whatever the fuck you know it's just like I don't know no I'm no I mean you're making sense bro like 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 that's what I'm saying like bro like I keep coming back to this paradox analogy because it's like. It's like when we start talking about it, we tend to start saying, I don't know, because it stops making sense. Mm -hmm. Like, 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 I, like, as we're talking about it, we're like, God, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, bro. Cause like, <laughs> we, like, you, like, you fucking lose it because it makes no fucking sense. Like, but I get it. Like, I fucking understand, bro. Like, I get it. And like, again, this, I, like, everything we talked about goes back to like the same type of discourse about this Twitch TOS. Not to say there's parallels between fucking titty shimmers and Palestine, right? But like, <laughs> It, again, it's the same people talking about the same shit using the same talking points for every situation. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, I'm just wondering when, like, we're going to stop, like, fucking being so pussy, bro. Mm. When we're going to start taking accountability for our actions and what we say. Like, when, when are we as a society going to do that? Not as a man, not as a woman, as people. Mm. Like, when are we going to progress past this weak shit, bro? And I, when? And I feel like another thing, too, is, you know, one of the things that you said about being a little bit more tolerant towards people that are either ignorant or misinformed about something. Like, I've had complete strangers, whether they're, it's people in chat while I'm talking about a political topic or a social topic, not understand something and have me break it down to them. Or even, like, friends that, like, yeah. I break things down to and explain to and just having that level of understanding is like has helped put so many people on the right path. I get, you know, people in my yes. chat all the time 
will like, you know, tell me about like, oh, like, you know, you talking about this shit really made me think of things in a different way. Or like how I used to be like, I used to be a lot more like right leaning. Like I would say like in 2016, like 15. You? Yeah, like, like the legit. Be- because like, because how I got into it was like, you know how uh, on YouTube there would be like these SJW compilations and like all yeah. this, bo- you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so I got into those and I thought that shit was funny. And then all of a sudden you start watching these compilations of like Ben Shapiro fucking destroys a liberal cuck bitch in a debate. And I'm like, well, that nigga yeah. sound, he's telling the truth, bro. Like, I don't know what to yeah. tell you. So like, to yeah. me, I was like, well, I mean, that shit sound right. Like, I don't know, like, fuck right. it. So then I started to like, not not go like so deep down that rabbit hole, but I held some of those opinions. And some of the people watching me were watching my content when I had those opinions. And then I started to get older and I started to make, you know, more friends and do more research mm-hmm. by myself and get more life experience. And then I'm like, wait a minute. This is <laughs> <laughs> like some of this shit I kind of ain't adding up. Some of this shit ain't really making sense. Like the person that Ben Shapiro destroyed in, the, in a debate was like some like seventeen year old kid on a college campus who was just right. trying to you get to his next that class. These motherfuckers are are, 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 are like like folks who debate for a living, right. going against someone who's majoring in art. Right, you know, what I'm saying? it's like okay, like, what are we talking about? So I started being like, well, this isn't making a lot of sense here. So then I started to like think for myself and my like transformation and my realization of like, oh shit, I think some of the things that I was saying and thinking were not only wrong but also just really harmful. Like I used to think and say really offensive things all the time because i would think i thought it was oh funny for shock value humor or whatever and it's like it's shit that i said that like i'm disgusted by now but like that's a part of like what my journey was you know and i feel like it's not about what you said it's about what you say now bro. right and i feel like where i'm at now i owe it a lot to me almost going down that alt-right pipeline because i saw both sides i know how somebody can get duped into believing these things so I think I come at it with like a certain level of like understanding for some folks. And yeah. I think that's what helps me sort of like break it down to some people. And obviously you can't change everybody's mind. And I'm sure there's people that will like listen to what I say and it's like, oh, this guy's a fucking a beta cuck bitch. Like he thinks he knows everything. He doesn't know shit or whatever. And that that's fine. Yeah. Like you have your opinion I mean, you on me, whatever. I the same thing in fucking 2016. Exactly. And, and, and maybe they'll come back and be like, hey, bro, like I thought like, like exactly. I used to not, you know, like agree with you, but now I do. Right. No, I mean, I mean, bro, I had to tell my chat to stop banning people that don't agree with me because I'm not, I'm not going to be someone who like doesn't let them get their, like, like, cause what if, what if I don't respond to him, but someone in my chat does mm. and, they, and they're having a conversation. And by the end of it, they're like, okay, you know what? True. Like, like, like we time out people who have arguments because it's like, shut the fuck up. Just, oh my God. Yeah. But like, <clears throat> I don't know. There's been so many times when like someone comes in while I'm, while I'm like ranting about something and we, and we don't agree, but I talk to them. Like I'll stop what I'm doing. I'm like, yo bro. Like, uh, uh, that cat is fucking adorable by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Like my ADHD was going to like, I was trying to move past it, but I was like, I have to say something. <laughs> Thank uh, you. For those who are listening, there's a cat on the screen. It's like, it's just so majestic. Like it's like a tiger. That's my boy, um, Benny. Sorry. But, uh, what I want to say too is like, I feel like a lot of people when they're younger, like, you know, again, like when you were in 2016, right? Like they base, like a lot of alt-right politics is based off what might be like how they feel. Right. So they will be like, the dude's the, the, gay or some shit like that, and like they'll fucking have like a like like a panic attack or like again, it's, it's it's about what what could become of like whatever. When like what politics should be based off of is what is like your life should be based off of what might be. It should be based off what is, especially when it comes to like, uh, not not in all aspects, right? But when it comes to like politics and policies and like thinking about. The consensus, like thinking about the majority, it's not about what might be for the majority. It's about what is right now. Mm. Because if we vote on something that helps right now, it might not help in 15 years, but then we vote again. Right. So it's not about what could be in 15 years. Where could this lead? It's about what do we need now? And I feel like a lot of alt right is like fear mongering of what might be if this passes. And like, I, I think the biggest but thing now, is, what it is now. I think the biggest uh, thing for that is anything to do with. Uh, with trans individuals because they say, oh, like if we start like accepting this or allowing this now, like 
are like our kids gonna like grow up and start like all of them want to transition and then detransition? It's like whoa, 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 like what? What are you saying? Or they'd be like, oh, like what if uh, what if a boy transitions and then dominates women's sports? Like that's never happened. Like right. it's never like you're 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 basing your bullshit off of something that we have no evidence of being true. So like what 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 are we even what are we doing here? Right, and then it's so funny because like they'll they'll be like. Okay, th- th- this is what pisses me off about all like all right people when it comes to like trans topics is like that transition thing where like oh you know like the dominating sports thing they say that and then they say okay well then let them you know like compete with cis women or cis men mm-hmm. and they say no because that's also unfair because of the because of because I because I have an advantage or a dis it's like which one is it mm. like they say it's a disadvantage for both of those topics mm. so which one is it it's like. You can't, like, okay, for example, right? If an athlete loses to a male athlete, two men, they say, hey, bro, you got to train harder. You, 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 you not him. He, mm. he outworked you. Right. If, if a cis athlete loses to, to uh, a trans athlete, they say, it's the estrogen. Right. It's, it's the, it's the, it's the titties that made, that, that, that made the cis male lose. What are we talking about? <laughs> You know what I mean? It's like, it's like, what if that trans athlete just worked harder? Yeah. I mean, there's women athletes that be cis, cis men athletes. Yeah. So what are we talking about? Like, I genuinely don't understand. Like, like whenever fucking Brittany fucking Renner dunks on Kevin Durant, no one's like, uh, it's, it's because she's a woman. They're like, damn, Katie's washed. You know what I mean? (laughs) So like, I don't, I don't understand like why it's so like, 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 what the fuck that's even about? I hate, dude. I hate transphobia. Like, I think it's the, I think it's so fucking dumb. Like, it literally makes no sense to me. And it's literally just like, it's a whole lot of fear mongering and like, what aboutism? You fucking tell somebody from Kentucky that they're gonna make your son a woman and make him gay. He's gonna be like, oh, 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 god, what the hell? <laughs> that's, that's happening right now in America. <laughs> the fuck is going on like he's not going to be able to fucking understand that that's just not true Mm. at all like that's just not what it is and like like even being gender non-conforming isn't being trans Mm. like there's so like like people look for such a like a such a simple label for something that's so complex bro like the human mind is always changing the human body is always changing like there's so much like everyone is so different but we try and put a label on like an um, like a, 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 like an umbrella of realities. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And so like it's just it's, I, like, I, like, I don't know how I got here, but it just pisses me off <laughs> when like when like people just speak out of their ass, bro. But again, it, it could be an ignorance thing, which is why like let's say 2016 Omega, you know, like, you know, like it's talking to me. I'm not gonna not speak to you because you're not saying the same shit. Mm-hmm. Like we're gonna we're gonna have to disagree every time. Right, or maybe I'll be like, you know what? I see where you're coming from, but you're not like you're like right. I can, maybe I can acknowledge your feelings of like the fear you have, but then allow me to teach instead of like make you feel like you're wrong. Mm. And again, that goes into every topic we've talked about so far. Like people want to do these podcasts and get fucking angry, but like, what if we always like, yo, let's like let's let's try and teach these ignorant fucks, bro? Because mm. if we don't do it. Then they're just gonna keep getting scooped up by the fucking weirdos. You know what I'm saying? Like, wh- like where's that energy? Like, like that's what activism is, bro. Yeah. Teaching motherfuckers, bro. Holding seminars, it's like, it's like, like speaking, trying to teach. Like, bro, Malcolm X was a teacher, bro. MLK was a teacher. Like these motherfuckers was teachers, and like, but now it's either you, you, you need to, you need to have obtained this knowledge, or you're, you're, you're too far gone. Mm. But like no one is ever too far gone, bro. Even the motherfuckers that are, like they can always be reeled back to reality. But you have to be delicate, bro. And then everyone's gonna be like, "Well, it's not my job to be delicate." Like they should know. But bro, say that to your grandmama who racist and homophobic. Mm. Say that to your motherfucking pops who's who's who who say the same shit that the folks do online. Say it to people in your life, then. Mm. And if you can't, if you can name some people that you won't step to, then then where is that energy online? Mm. Where's that teachable energy online? Like, it just comes off as projection to me a little bit. Mm. I, I would say that 
I don't think like if you're engaging in like internet conversation, I do not believe that it is like your responsibility to educate people if you don't want to. But like you said, right. like if you got a family member that's wilding or your friends that's wilding, I think it is, you know, sort of your responsibility to like to check them on that shit. Like, yeah. so a, a, a big thing, too, is that like a, a lot of like regular, like normal human beings that are not like on the Internet, like all day fucking long. Like a lot of them are really detached from the conversations that we have on Twitter and Twitch and like what we're talking about here now. Real quick, let me say something real quick because I, I want to add to that. The left point of view is only big on online. That is the, true. The, yeah. the alt right slash right wing point of view is what like that's what's that's the consensus of people who aren't online because mm. that's what that's what gets pushed the most. Mm. Like you have to actively seek out left leaning like like left leaning information like unironically yeah like es- especially because like especially because like for with with my friend group a lot of the content creators they're gonna be watching are motherfuckers like academics you know like yep. you know like niggas like that who are fucking cornballs and whatever but like <laughs> I fucking dude so so <laughs> like that, snaps bro that's they're gonna be they're gonna be you know fucking uh, uh watching the shade room and shit like that like that that's where they're getting their information from right. So I don't right. blame them necessarily for like being misinformed, but there's a lot of times I've had to have conversations with my friends about like, yo, actually, like you, like let me let me put you on game with like this shit or or that shit or like even sometimes like using like words that we can't really be using no more, like you know, uh, like 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 I mean, some people still use this word a lot. I personally do not like this word, the uh, the R word for somebody's mental uh, disability. Yes. I hate that word. But like some, a lot of people like they still use it, and I'd be having to tell yeah. my friends like, "Hey, cool it," or like you know whatever, you know type shit. Like it just is what it is. And but but that's because like the 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 people that are like in like in real life detached from the internet, they don't know like what what we be talking about. You know like the whole Hogwarts shit that went on last year or whatever the fuck. Like, nobody fucking knew the fuck was going on with the Hogwarts thing. Like I told like I had friends that actually asked me about that. They were like, "Yo, so like." Like, what up with this thing? And I informed them. I'm like, this is the information. Do with it what you will. Like, you want to play the game? Go for it. I don't give a fuck. But, like, this is why people are upset or whatever. You know, so, like, that's that's just what I do to the people, like, in my life. And, obviously, as a content creator with a platform, I also like to talk about this shit every now and again. But I think you and I can kind of relate on this to where it's something that I've, like, started to, like, talk about a little bit less and less because the conversation is so exhausting and like a lot of people will just argue in bad faith and nobody wants to like actually have a conversation. And I've learned that there's a lot of times where you're just not going to change nobody's mind. Like I can say yeah. what I want to say and I'm always going to believe in what I believe in. And I'm always going to stand for what I stand for no matter what. But like at a certain point, like I just got to protect my peace, you know, so yeah. I can I can come on here and do this podcast with you and talk about this shit and get this shit off and I don't know how the world receives it, you know? Maybe right. maybe the people that are watching right now are like they murder us. Right, maybe the people watching right now they they like they like it they're like oh I never thought about it like that or like yo this guy's spinning like or whatever or and maybe they just fucking swat us we get yeah. shot live. Or maybe they fucking hate everything I'm saying and like yeah. everything that I'm saying is just maybe I'm wrong about everything or maybe like I'm just really pissing people off with how I'm approaching topics or whatever. Like I don't I don't know how this shit's going to get received, but yeah. At the end of the day, like this is just what I what I believe in, you know. So. Right. I mean, no. I mean, I, I think that I, I think you're right. I, like, I think that it's not necessarily. I think that people ha- have a ob- like an obligation to teach people online. It's more like before you type that hate, did you even try? Mm. You know, because like you have all this energy to hate on shit, but like not even a single ounce to try to be mm. like, yo, bro. Like, let me offer it to you this way. Especially because, like, I mean? in the communities that we from, like, I feel like we have a lot of, like, you know, people of color in our communities where we're from and shit like that. And a lot of these, uh, a lot of, like, how we grew up, not very, you know, PC by the internet standards, you it's know? It's just not very, like, it's just very self-loathing how we grew up. It's very, yeah, it's so very... Like, so I, I come at a, from a place of understanding of, like, yeah. I understand, like, how we grew up and, like, you know, saying certain words or using certain things or, like, having certain beliefs about shit. But, like, you know, I think it's, like, you know, again, as somebody with the platform, you know, maybe... 
think of shit in a in in a different way and understand why people are feeling you know the ways that they're feeling. But I mean, I couldn't say it better than myself, bro. I just I don't know, man. Yeah, like it's just so. Fr- I just like this shit should be common sense, bro. Mm. And like maybe that's like narcissistic to say like how we think should be common sense because that, that's how <laughs> that's like, how they feeling too though you know what I'm saying? yeah ex- so. exactly yeah, but then right there there's that paradox bro <laughs> we're like fucking we're all saying the same fucking thing <laughs> but like it's just but again but like we're basing off what is not what could be mm-hmm. right so and then that goes back to what we said off off the podcast earlier which is like and sorry i know i'm not referencing shit that's not canon but still <laughs> like like um we were talking about how like uh oh fuck what do we say bro i says i know i lost it i the uh, lead I, I don't i don't know i don't know we said a lot of shit before the stream started i know fuck bro Damn. oh my god i need i need oh my god i i oh my god, i got to do drugs um <laughs> let me think bro that's the problem okay, with, the, well, with the liberal left they're all hopped up on drugs nah, and they don't and sucking dick and doing the fucking, <laughs> they don't know the what fucking, the fuck going on they don't got no right state of mind god damn it they start fucking fucking sucking bloods and they're sucking cocks it's like they, they just can't stop putting shit in their mouth but no i mean like we were just talking about fucking something man fuck it was such a good talk too god common sense i'm trying to do buzzwords real quick common sense Fucking narcissist. <laughs> like, what was I talking about? Chad? Yeah, that shit is so annoying, bro. Chat, start saying shit. What is it? Chad, getting... bro, just say random shit and then we'll move on to something else. Someone said <laughs> getting like... back shots in the Senate room. Is, is that what? <laughs> what? Nah, I don't know. I don't know why they said that. Getting back shots where? In the, I, in the Senate room, I guess. Being out of touch. Uh, I don't know, man. You know what, bro? I, you know, I'm just going to think of a different thought that maybe I'll just come back to it. For sure. It's, it's more of like, like, this is kind of why, like, again, the way we think what it is, what it isn't, it's just frustrating because I just hate how, like, we just lost touch with, with society, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, we've lost touch with, like, what our actual needs are, I feel like. Because again, when you think about like basing your life off of what is or what is or what isn't, people base their life off religion. That's what that's literally what could be to the max. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, and like not to diss no one's religion. I'm I'm atheist. I know. Like, are are you religious? No, not at all. Okay, so I got two atheists. Yay, it's gonna <laughs> be fun. Um, but not nah, like religion is the biggest maybe of all time, mm-hmm. right? But yeah, people base their life and their politics off of it. And they base everything off of a maybe instead of a right now, what do we need? And like, that's, that's like my biggest, like, and I feel like that even with Twitch, like, bro, there's just so much contradiction. But going back to the religion thing real fast, I feel like what religion should be should be a a way that you choose to live your life personally and i think that most people should have a personal relationship with whatever god or gods they believe in and it should be a personal thing i think that could be a very beautiful relationship to have and i know a lot of people that have personal relationships with religion and i think that's fine the problem problem comes when what's that capitalism that's that's facts i don't even know what has to do with religion but yes capitalism sucks Bro, do you want to know what I do with, with, with fucking religion? You know how the church makes money? By selling you this relationship with God. Real. And they pass that basket around. They do church stuff and you pay for it all the time. And like, but again, that's the same church that says money's the root of all evil. So if you think about it, the church should be nonprofit. It should be no money ever. Yeah, I think, church. I think churches, the mega churches, like, they, yeah, that's all, that's all scam shit. Like that. But that. even the small churches, bro, they do the same shit. It's just, it's just not as big. And mm. like, as someone who, as someone who grew up Catholic, the root of Catholicism is capitalism. And mm. I feel like a lot of people don't realize that like, again, like that's, that's the problem with everything right now is that everyone is trying, people are no longer thinking of what's best. They're thinking about what gets the most clicks, what gets the most dollars, what gets mm. the most impressions, what can get them paid. And it's rage. It's, it's, yeah. it's anger. It's That's always facts. been the biggest factor. Like, I feel like I just fucking like, I feel like I'm gonna get shot by, by the FBI soon, bro. Mm. Like everything is 
rooted in capitalism. Everything is trying to sell you on something. So it's just like, I, like, I feel like that's the issue. Is like everyone is just trying to like say the thing that's going to get them the most impression sometimes. Yeah, I agree. Especially when it comes to rage. That's what the, the left and the right. Yeah. Like so many people just pretend to actually care about these social issues because it gets them paid. Then it and, go, like, and it goes back to, to the kids situation. Cause like, if you bring up like, Oh, what about the kids? Like, I think the reason why that gets brought up a lot is because like kids are pure and innocent. So everybody wants to protect children. Like that's like an innate ability in all of humanity. So it's really hard to argue against somebody when they're using kids as the shield for their policies or their ideologies or whatever. Cause like, how yeah. do you, how do you argue with that? Like, yeah, I want to protect kids too. Like, of course. But like, I think that what, what what they end up doing is that they're just veiling their actual uh, opinions and what they actually feel like. Where they, oh, but what about the kids though? Knowing full well they don't give a fuck about them damn kids. They they say the most outlandish thing, but then they 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 put it in a way that is very easy to get behind. Mm -hmm. So they'll be like, "Yo, these trans people are gonna they're fucking they're touching your kids and they're they're you know like they're grooming your children and 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 you should hate trans people if you want to protect kids." Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so like everyone's like, "Damn, they really <laughs> like like." And again, like we've all been hardwired that like the 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 person on the screen gotta. I mean, it's like they gotta be knowing what they're talking about, right? The big man on the TV, like like why would he lie? Mm. So it's like people don't realize that like, it, it like it, it's 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 just it's really scary, bro. Yeah, and, like and I, how 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 they sell emotion, like they literally sell you like anger pills, like fucking fear pills, like they get you fucking hooked on like wanting to be like like the savior for your child. Mm. You know what I mean? Or like, or, or however they get you, like they get you hooked and then like, they just, they just keep you there, bro. Like they keep you, they keep you scared because like, if they keep you scared, then, the, then they, then they own you. If they keep you scared of progress, then they own you, bro. So it's like, what the fucking, like, like, and all we can do is just try and teach, bro. That's, that's all we can do. Mm. And it's just like, it's just so, ah, uh, God, bro. It's just so sad. So I just want to fucking cry. <laughs> Shit makes me sad, bro. It's nah, just, it's just yeah. a sad realization. Like, I'm just, it's, it's really tough growing up POC too. Because like, how, like, this is not a common way of thinking. Mm. And like, I'm someone who has said all this to my pop. And we've had some, some tough talks. You know what I mean? And like, now even he, like even he gets it you know what i mean mm. and like if i would have given up on him he would he would like he would be voting and he would be in that right wing all right shit too yeah because again that's that's the normal shit like it may seem outlandish to us but they put it in this fucking package where it's like it's so easy to 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 pick up mm. it's so easy to like lose yourself in that shit like so I, like i don't know like i just start to think like like, how do we progress, bro? How do, again, like, like I want to hear your thoughts on this question. How do we progress? How do we get past these fucking Twitch, these stupid ass Twitch fucking TOS debates where people are performative? <laughs> how do we get past, you know, this fake activism? How, how do we progress, bro? Like, how the fuck do we all get over ourselves and start thinking about, like, each other again? You know... You know how I think it happens, actually? Uh, I think that it's that it's all going to happen regardless because, again, a lot of the shit that goes on, a lot of the conversations that we have, this is just internet shit, right? Yeah. And, like, one thing that I've, that I've started to realize myself is that everything that's happening on the internet, like, realistically speaking... A lot of it isn't going to manifest in any like real change because like you said, a lot of it is performative, right? So it's up to like the youth and it's up to like the the regular people to like to mobilize like in person. And I don't know if like you are on like Instagram or whatever, or if you like follow people that you went to high school with or anything like that, but I follow a few people that I went to high school with on uh, Instagram. 
And uh, what I see is actually a lot of places locally where I live that are holding protests and riots for Palestine. I see people that I went to high school with posting the Palestinian flag and going to these protests and these riots and posting information about the government officials that are local here to contact them. So I think that this is going to be a thing that is going to be solved by by people in general and all the bullshit that we read online and all that shit, I don't think it has any basis in reality. I do think that, you know, offline, there is a lot more, you know, back and forth and there are a lot of people that are misinformed, but I think, I maybe this is me being like optimistic or whatever, but I, I'm choosing to like believe in people and I believe that we will do like, you know, the right thing eventually, you know, I think everything that we see online is just like, none of this shit is real. Like everybody complaining about this, like this, this, uh, titty shit on Twitch, these motherfuckers going to be on another topic next week. And then in six months, it'll get brought up again when they have nothing to talk about. Like, Um. like, and, and at the end of the day, none of this shit matters. The Twitch TOS doesn't fucking matter. The titties on Twitch doesn't fucking matter. The fact that a VTuber went nude doesn't fucking matter. What matters is like what's actually important in this world, what's happening in Congo, what's happening in South Sudan, like you said, what's happening in fucking Palestine. These are the things that actually matter. What what matters is what Joe Biden is saying regarding Palestine. What happens is our upcoming election. These are the things that actually matter that are going to uh, impact the rest of humanity forever nobody's going to think about this Twitch shit in five to 10 years. Nobody. Yeah. But this, the, the shit happening in Palestine, Congo, South Sudan, this is going to have ramifications for the rest of fucking humanity. All right. And when they're, when they write these history books, right. Do you want to be part of that group that the kids reading these books going to be like, how the fuck did they let Palestine get fucking genocided? Do you want the fucking tweet you just put up to be in that history book? Like what do you yeah, like? What, what do you what do you want to fight for? Like what like what is really important at the end of the day? This Twitch shit is not. You know, I brought up. Uh, well, I mean, I think this is not like an original thought, but I remember I, uh, I like I asked my chat. I was like, it's gonna be so interesting to like that. Like our kids w- were gonna be able to see what we thought about shit while it was happening. Yeah. Like all they gotta do is download Twitter or even like the like the Wayback Machine mm-hmm. and fucking. And just literally be like, what am I dad thinking about Palestine, bro? <laughs> and like, they'll literally see your exact words. And it's so interesting because like before, like our parents just, just say whatever the fuck and be like, man, like I like I was on the right side of things. And like they right. could have been lying. But like it's gonna be so interesting to see like what our kids like cause because like my answer to progression is is the kids. It's I the agree. same kids that are being that are oh the journey of kids trans. Like it's 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 so soft ass, ooey gooey, bitch made ass kids. Because guess what, bro? That they're gonna be the ones that are the most emotionally intelligent. They're gonna be the ones that like aren't afraid to be seen as soft. And the, and the best, the, the the most important thing too about the youth and our in our children is that our children are living through the world that we created for them. We're yeah. we're so removed from what we did to the world that it's hard to see like the impact that it has on the next generations. But these kids see it they understand like how we've behaved and how we've impacted the world in our time right so it's, it's that's so why these how, kids like, are so child, important it's so interesting how a child can hear that like there's a genocide happening they're like oh that's bad and then do a fucking uh march on roblox to show yeah. you know like 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 the unison but then someone who's like lived 22 years in like a in like an average white household and like watches ben shapiro debates can't hear the same thing and like agree shit yeah there's been there's (laughs) been um there's been like uh uh, teachers from schools that are contacting parents and be like yo like your kid just like walked out of class saying some shit about like free palestine like what the fuck is going on and then like this is happening like this is what you know, th- this is this is what's happening, you know, and I just think so it's important. Cool, I think it's important that like, you know, the, the kids are the future. Like you said, like it's, it's important that we give them the tools that they need to like fix the things that like our generation couldn't or wouldn't do. Yeah, I mean, absolutely, bro. I think I think that. uh, Again, I think it because it's like you said, like we create that world for our kids. 
and I think it says a lot because like you're someone who was you know again like okay with being edgy as a kid yeah as a young and I mean yeah. maybe even in your early 20s who fucking knows right like you when you were younger who who gave a fuck it's about becoming an adult and then challenging the things that were instilled in you as a child exactly yeah because I feel like for me I I didn't I remember like when when did like but it was 2016 I'm I'm in Sacramento California like the topic of trans bathrooms got brought up. This is like a it's a very fresh topic at this time. Now it's like no one gives a fuck. But like at this time, it was like I, m- I remember. <laughs> yeah, it was like fucking pedophile trying to infiltrate the bathrooms. And I was yeah. like, God damn! Like, and I remember we had a Socratic seminar, and everyone was like, Yeah, I mean, this is weird. This is weird. And I and I was like, It's just a bathroom. Mm-hmm. And they were like, What do you mean? I was like, Motherfucker's just peeing in there. Like. Who the fuck's getting like like who's getting touched in a bathroom? That's disgusting. Not that it doesn't happen, but like right. you know what I mean. Like also also st- statistically, the vast majority of like sexual crimes or like or pedophilia happens to somebody that the child actually knows, not the fucking stranger next to him the in the bathroom. Not the fucking random guy trying to take a piss. Yeah, you know what I mean, so like that's that's <clears throat> what I'm saying. Like, so fr- from there, it's like, but again, I'm from Oklahoma. Like mm. I've I've had homophobia instilled in me, and I had a gay uncle. Like you know what I mean? Like I I remember being I was very homophobic, very transphobic. Like I was very like like anti all that, bro. Like everything. But then again, like I hit a point where I was like, who fucking cares? Mm-hmm. And then I started to challenge what I knew. I started to actually try and learn about shit. And like not many adults do that, or they do it yeah. to like, the bare minimum extent, or bare minimum extent. And it's like. Again, like, I just think that there needs to be more accountability in society today. Like, we do make the world that we have for our kids. But again, like, that, that little motherfucker got to learn, too. Like, he got he to, gotta, like, 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 they got to figure it the fuck out a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because, again, like, the world that we could be instilling in them, when they're 20, that's a different world. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, like, the, the, the shit that's, that, that we're going to tell them now, they're going to have to say, like, l- like, understand that that does not coexist with like how it was when they were babies either mm. like so i think it's really i think it's really important that like i don't know bro like it, if you want an adult and you saying the same shit you were saying at 16 you're done bro that's like, embarrassing you're, like you've done no growth you, uh, like, how the fuck do you be stuck in time like that yeah deal with the fucking program bro mm. figure it out have you been paying taxes yet like mm. what are we doing mm. you know what i mean so it's like I don't know. Like I like like I like I think that people definitely need to like hold themselves accountable and not always be like, hey bro, where I'm from, how I grew up, yeah, blah 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 blah. Gee, you're 27 years old <laughs> doing transphobia on Maine. Are you serious? <laughs> don't blame Baltimore for that, bro. That's your bitch ass. Yeah, like like the when I grew up, especially in my in my generation, face ass, when I grew up, <laughs> like homophobia was rampant, like like yeah. aggressively rampant, especially in like in in inner city urban communities, rampant homophobia, right? So like unlearning that, like that's just part of growing up, you know. Like yeah, a lot of that shit was instilled in me from a very young age, but like. Bro, I'm fucking no, I'm I'm 25, 26 now. Like I'm still saying the same shit I was saying when I was fucking nine. Like what, what the yeah. fuck? That's embarrassing. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, this, this mean, is not bro, a flex. Bro, it's the same. Like like it's the same way how like again like when I was younger, like all my friends is black, right? And mm. like I, and like I wasn't as light as I am now. Like I was I was very brown. I had the curly hair, so I remember like everyone thought I was black. And like, I mean, shit. Even I thought I was. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So like, I'm, 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 I'm saying that word. I'm, 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 I'm part of that culture. And then when I turn 17, 18, I'm like, this isn't really something that I need to be fighting for. Mm-hmm. You know, like, like I'm, I may identify as like Afro Latino or like, you know, like, like a Latino with a little fro, curly hair, whatever. But like, I'm not. I don't. This is not my culture. It's not my word. Mm. You know what I mean? And like, it's about, it's about. But imagine if I was still. Now I'm. I, I'm 23 next week. Am I still saying the dumb shit I was saying at 17? That's a problem. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like, it's about growing because, bro, again, who you are at 14, uh, no, sorry, no, who you are at nine, 
to, to 14 can be drastically different. And then from 14 to 17, and 17 to 20, and then 20 to 21, and then mm. 21 to 23. It's like, there's so, like, you, you're supposed to be constantly changing throughout your whole life, bro, because you should never stop learning until the day you die. Yeah. Like, I can only hope that, like, I'm always open to the discussion of change and progress, and I, I, I hope I never get bitter, bro, because, like, the moment that you stop learning and stop being open to things is the moment that, like, your, your soul just starts to, like, just, like, wrinkle up, bro. It starts to shrivel up like this, and it's just... It's just a rock. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. <sighs> now you needed to get this shit off your chest, didn't you, bro? I did, bro. Yeah. I mean, progress is the only way forward, and like everyone just says the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's it's tiring seeing, and you know, at, at first I used to engage in those conversations, you know, but then after a certain while, you just start to realize that no matter what happens, like people are going. You know, they're just going to reiterate the same shit over and over again. Like, well, I'm sure we're going to talk about this again in six to eight months when, yeah. when you know, a new Morg Pie come out, new Morg Pie DLC drop, and she's doing something she crazy. She shows nipple this time. <laughs> right. You know, and it's like, <laughs> it's just never ending at the end of the day because people want to keep arguing about the easy things or, like, the, the clickable things or, like, the trendy things to argue about. But, like, at the end of the day, like we both said, eh, none of this shit matters. Yeah, and I mean, like, even my little rant I just did about, like, saying shit in the past, like, you know, like, 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 the parallels between what you said and I said, it's like, mm-hmm. that comes from, like, we took accountability for, for, for what we said, and we changed it. Yeah. And it's like, where's that same accountability for everyone else? Mm. You know, that, like, that, like, just stay shit. You know what I'm saying? And, mm. like, I don't know. I just think that uh, the way for progress is definitely, like, you know, again, like uh, the children, for sure. But like the way for progress and the way to make sure we don't talk about this in eight to six months is like uh, accountability. Mm. You know, someone being able to concede. Someone, you know, Morg probably being like, hey, you know what? Like y'all fucked up, but I will say that like, I did kind of abuse the TOS a little bit, sorry. Mm. You know what I mean? Or like uh, the VTubers being like, you know what? Like y'all are being disrespectful, but you know, yeah, I shouldn't have had my bouncing ginormous titties on screen. You know, you know what? Up. I feel like the the worst thing that social media has given people is an ego, because nobody oh. wants to be wrong. Like nobody know, wants yeah. to admit they're wrong, and everybody on social media has a crazy ego. <laughs> Yeah, bro. I mean, like, I definitely, like, I mean, I'm definitely a victim of that, too. For sure. I think like, we all are. I, like, I might not say I'm wrong the first time, but I will, like, 30 minutes later. Say shit. I'll be like, fine, you win. Fuck you. Like, well, yeah, I'm wrong. You know what I mean? Because, like... Oh, an- 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 another, 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 right, another thing, too, like, what, what one of my mods said, Rise, he was like, he was like, and if you change your mind, you're seen as fake, right? It's like, you, you, yeah. should, you should celebrate being presented with new information and changing your opinion. Like, that should be celebrated, Absolutely, actually. Absolutely, bro. I mean, again, like, even if you're like, yo, like, this, 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 this fucking more past shit is, is the worst. And then someone's like, no, it's not. Chat, chat, and other people shouldn't then be like, yeah, fucking idiot. No, it's not. If, like, cause like, if they say like, oh, you know what, you're right, it's really not that big of a deal, and then everyone's like, yeah, fucking dumbass, welcome to the party. Mm-hmm. They'd be like, you know what, never mind, fuck that bitch, and her titties. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, and like, so, bro, like, you're so right. Like, someone who changes their mind shouldn't be seen as, oh, you're so fake. It should be seen as, yo, you learned. Mm. Now let's make sure that you stay on that path of learning and you don't revert or sorry, regress back to like where you just were. Mm. Because have that negative energy for when they regress and they, and then they get caught doing the same shit. Then you're like. You fucking learn shit, Take dumbass. Shit. Fuck you. Mm. But um, hey, bro. I mean, I I I think we hit all the points, bro. I think I think we killed it. I think. Now I'm open up to the chats. Hey, y'all. Like, what y'all think? What y'all, y'all enjoyed bro? this episode too? You know what I'm saying? Uh, leave <coughs> a comment. You gonna read them? Please make Take sure they're shit. nice. I'm feeling subconscious recently. Take shit. Bro, my chat was calling me fat all day yesterday, bro. For real? Yeah. Man, was, you know, you know what I always say. Anytime somebody comments on my opinion, I will, I will bring up their name, and I'm like, "I, right, bro, my Twitter, Discord, whatever, post a selfie right now. And if you don't do it within the next five minutes, you're banned." That, that's do you what think I think. It's fucked up to call people fat. <laughs> no, 
Well, it depends. It's funny, bro. It depends. I think like, it's a little funny. I think if somebody is like, if somebody has clearly made it a thing that they're not okay with those kinds of jokes or True. whatever, then okay, it's whatever. But what if somebody who fat does not care with those kind of jokes? Says some fucked up shit. Nah, then I'm sorry. You got like if if you throw the first stone and somebody retaliates, you cannot. Like, be like, wow, man, you brought up my weight. Like, bro, fuck you, bitch-ass motherfucker. Like, what? Yeah, bro, you know what, bro? Like, I got this from Bruce, you know, uh, Bruce Drama. I remember I was watching a video of his, and he said, you sound fat. <laughs> and I remember that's my favorite thing to say to people when I'm, like, doing random feels, and, like, they're being racist or mean. I always be like, you sound fat, knowing that I'm chubby as hell. <laughs> and every time it's like they just get so mad because they really are fat as shit, bro. Type shit. You know, fat as look, 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 how you fat and mad? That's what bro, I was, I was, happy, I was just about to say, bro. If you one of us BBWs, bro, like you gotta be be jolly, motherfucker. That's what we for. <laughs> be jolly, bro. Like, bro, like, how the fuck are you fat and angry? Bro, like, you know, like fucking figures some shit out, bro. Like, dude, I was about to say, but um. No, it's like, what's your chat saying, though, about uh, the oh, yeah. format, the podcast? Yeah, they, they was jacking with it. They liked it. Okay. Okay, yeah, no, my chat, well, the podcast chat said it was very nice. Hooray! Um, yeah, they, they, hooray. They, they liked it. They was liking it. So, <clears throat> how, off, how often do you want to do this shit, man? Like, I don't know, once every six years. I have trouble with commitment. How about, like, anytime man. we have something to talk about, we do it. Or do you actually want to like make it like a thing a thing? Like you actually want to like You gotta do. I kinda wanna make it a thing a thing. And like that's kinda why I'm trying to see how you feel because Oh, type shit. I think it'd be a thing we do bi weekly, if anything. Bisexually? Yes. Gayly. Okay. Type shit. We do it homosexually, actually. I think, I think we should uh consult Balvin, but like, yeah. Yes, he wasn't here for the first episode. It's really sad. Um But yeah, not like I definitely like this format and I like that I can like share my screen and like in this little mm -hmm. thingy. Um, but yeah, no, nah, I definitely, um, uh, me personally, I, I would let him make it a thing. I mean, I'm, I think that podcasting is something that we should definitely do. And I think the more we do it, it's going to be feel so natural and it's going to be such a good, uh, way to like, and I also, I also have feel these like, types of discussions. yeah, like it's always important to have these types of discussions, but like, I don't think every episode is going to be as like about as, politics. Yeah. It's not going to be as like heavy as like this episode was type shit. Yeah. Cause that, and that's kind of why I want to make it a thing. I like. If we don't have something to say in two weeks, then we don't do it. Then mm. we just wait again. We wait another week. But like maybe every like maybe we shoot for, you know, once once a week. Mm. Right. Or whatever. But then like if we don't have something to say that week, we just once every like next week then. Mm -hmm. Maybe we just see how we feel every week. And then if we got something we want to talk about. Cause you yeah, know, like it could literally just be like maybe next time we're all just in the car, we're like, yo, let's just do a podcast talk about bullshit. That's it. Yeah. You know, and like I I, I definitely want it to be like Cause bro, I mean, we also got to talk about Cardi B and Offset today. That would have been hilarious. Well, mm. it would have been fucked up. And I mean, actually, we kind of could pivot to that if you want to do like one last little topic. So I actually don't know what the fuck is going on with that, like at I all. Mean, I can pull up a clip, bro. All right, go ahead, pull up a clip, bro. Let me. See. <laughs> I have no idea what Yo, the we fuck. Really a podcast, really a podcast, though, bro. I have, crazy. I have no idea what the fuck going on with that shit. I right, don't. Let me look. I right, don't, bro. I'm going to Twitter. Is is this shit like crazy, crazy for real? It's uh. <laughs> uh, she was going off. Uh, from what I know, like apparently, Asa's been like wilding and like being mad disrespectful to her. So she did this uh this story where uh she was like, or no, this live where she's going off, like she's going off <clears throat> on Asa or on Offset. Yeah, you know I, I love when the tea gets spilled, so I'm here for it, bro. I love tea, and so then, <laughs> so but then, so then, of course, like her, you know, the girls are going around for Cardi started like. Wishing death on takeoff. Yikes. And they started like making fun of uh takeoff. And I think that's kind of where people were okay, like. Okay, so I did see some girl say that about takeoff. And I thought that was, I don't give a fuck what is going on in their relationship. That is uncalled for. I agree. Hold on, I have an ad. <clears throat> I'm on a different Google account, so I don't have my premium on this one. So, uh, Damn. yikes. Yikes. You got yikes. caught out. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I'm dumb. I just, I could just sign in to. Yeah. Look, I don't know why you was not on the right account, hey, look, but like. Hey, look, bro. Hey, look, bro. Look, bro. Not too much, bro. Not too it's much. all good. Yeah, First bro. episode, we're working out the kinks. 
Absolutely. Okay, Lily. So do you see this little? Uh, I'm locked in. Okay, wait. Let me make sure that like my chat is like seeing things. Chat, do you see things? Move me over here now. Hey, sure. Do you see things, chat? Uh, yeah, they wait, do. They don't, I'm so confused. God, I gotta, I, I gotta rework this format a little bit. Okay, wait. You know what the hell it is? I turn on the chat. Uh, wait. <clears throat> okay, I can't find it. You know, whatever. I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm gonna pretend that they do, and that means that they do, okay? They do. They um, see anyway, it. so this is, this is the clip of, uh, situation so we'll just we'll watch this okay so now if you guys have been keeping up with my videos then you guys know that after Blueface allegedly outed Krishan for Is audio good with yeah. offset cardi b then went live and told everyone that she's been single for a while Cheers. now today a lot went on cardi b went on to twitter and she stated Offset, you will be a N word, and trust me, <laughs> you will be a N word. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm on a curse. You're a B A N word. Oh, shit. Like, oh my god, bro, what are we talking about? I'm effing taking it there. Then she said, and my N word is then come poop. By the way, for those wondering, M F S will try you when you at your lowest and most vulnerable time, and out here feeling yourself. But trust me, the tables turn. Now, a few days ago, Offset was actually spotted with model London Perry at Kanye's listening party. Now, today, Cardi had enough because after she tweeted that on Twitter, she then went on to Instagram Live and went off. Vita, stop calling me. I mean, can we hear it? Is she is she cursing that much? Is she, she leaving that? Yeah, she was cursing a lot. Oh wow! Like, like honestly, I wouldn't even show it if 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 we were monetized. I'm be serious. Um, oh. God damn. Your shit, cause you will talk to a nigga and I'm will play in your face and your. Can we have an uncensored fucking? Hold on, bro. I'm gonna find an uncensored version. I mean, like, <laughs> son of a bitch. You can't even hear shit, motherfucker. What the hell? Right. It's just. It's just. It's like, what'd you say? Okay, hold on. Cardi B live. I'm gonna find it. Don't worry. Let me see. That shit was damn near silent. Nah, it really was. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Take Sorry shit. about that, y'all. Sorry about that, y'all. First episode, bro. You see it? <sighs> yeah, I got it pulled up. Okay. Wait, wait a minute. It's loading. Oh, wait. Oh, not there. Okay, yeah. no, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Okay, okay. I'm gonna, I'm just. Over and over and over and over and over again, and she'll be like, "Watch, watch what I'm about to do. Watch what I'm about to say." And it's so fucking sad that a nigga like to, yo, this motherfucker really likes to play games with me when I'm at my most vulnerable time, when I, when I'm not the most confident. They like, like to play games with me. Both. Can this person like upgrade, like get off of a boost mobile? Right, bro. Like, what is this fucking aspect ratio, bro? Like, we wait, we can do better as people, bro. Real. This fucking, this fucking goofy ass fucking like, what the fuck is that? Type shit. But I'm glad that they did this though, because they have the tea. He knows that I'm chilling. He knows I'm not doing the most. And I've really been sparing you. I've really been sparing you. You've been fucking feeling yourself, you bitch ass nigga. You bitch ass cowboy. Shit, and you really Damn. doing me dirty after fucking years that I'm not up yet. Not even a fucking thank you that I got oh. for your bitch ass. And it's so crazy that I gotta go to the fucking internet because whenever I fuck, I tell you something, you don't take shit serious. That's it. I mean, like that, like, like oh that's the big God. clip. Yeah, that's the big clip. Uh, so, so what? What did? So he he cheated on her, I guess. Again. Well, I don't know. I mean, that's kind of like what it's what it's like hinting at. You know, mm -hmm. that's kind of like the drama. Um, but again, I mean, like now, so here, I mean, I'll stop sharing this now. Uh, and I'm a, I'll try to find some shit. But like, no, nah, I mean, it, like it's it's definitely just like she was going off on him about something. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it could be cheating. It could be just, I mean, who knows? Right. Right. Um, and then like everyone was just like, everyone today was being like, she should have been smoking on takeoff. She should have been, you know, I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. Weird. Like that's just OD. Like no, that's, I think, I think that's crazy. Yeah. I mean, like that's some shit you get shot for, bro. Yeah. Like, that's some shit that like, you don't just say to somebody, bro. So like, I don't know. I think, I think, I think sometimes in life, we as people need to just go 
damn. Mm. And then like just you know move the fuck on, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like why are people weighing into Cardi B and Offset's relationship? Like whatever happened was clearly something that hurt Cardi B a lot. I mean, you heard it in her voice, especially towards yeah. the end. Like she was hurt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like I don't know. Like people, I I think like just in general, people are so parasocial these days. They want to be included. They think they know these people. And all that shit. Like, you don't know shit. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, wild part is you got a man doing you right now uh, just like Offset did Cardi B. Like, worry about that mm-hmm. shit. Like, why the fuck you pressed about this? Like, you got your own shit to worry about. So, I don't yeah. know. Like, it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's wild. Bro, shit just, like, I don't know. Like, I like I think I think getting a T is fine. I mm, mean, bro. For I, sure. I, I love hey, T. Bro. <laughs> hey, bro. As someone who. <laughs> I'm a T I mean, drinker. Again, like, yeah, but I mean, facts, bro. I mean, again, I'm Caribbean, bro. I remember while all my, you know, cousins and brothers was playing sports, I was, I was in my mama lap gossiping. Mm, real, so real. I, like, like, bro, you, bro, you know I me. Mean? I mean, I get it. Like, I used to love seeing my aunties and then them talking about their baby daddies, bro. That shit was peak. Peak. Peak, bro. I mean, I, bro, you know how many drug dealers that I found out I knew <laughs> because I was in my mama lap? My aunties, bro, it was crazy. So, like, I'm all for getting tea, bro. Mm. That's not a problem. It's like, you're, but, but, but you're supposed to get the tea and be like, shit crazy. Mm. This shit, the, could it be me? Could it be us? Literally. <laughs> and then, and then move, and, but then like move on. Like, you're not supposed to let people know that you know the tea, bro. Because then that's how you, that's how you stop getting the tea. That's how you stop getting the tea. You wrote, now you fuck, me. now you fucking up the whole tea economy, nigga. Like, that's how that that's how Stardy B stopped doing these live streams. Mm. Bruh, and again, I'm not saying she should keep doing it. <laughs> but if she but, but if she wanna keep on leaking tea, I mean like I'ma keep on drinking it. Type shit. Like, like I like I wanna know what's going on sometimes. Like like come on, bro. So it's like where where is that energy, bro? Like, where's the damn that shit crazy? Mm. And then scrolling. Why are we all gotta give think pieces? I think because again, I think it goes back to social media giving everybody an ego and everybody got to be heard and nobody want to yes. be wrong and everybody got to have an opinion no. on everything. What did we say earlier? The biggest lie I ever told is yo, 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 thoughts and feelings matter. Man, no, they do the not. Up. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Shut up and get this tea. <laughs> Anyways, look, man, that all being said, ladies and gentlemen, that is episode one of Triple XL. Shout out to. Uh, 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 Omega Pro, Omega. Thanks for being here, bro. Thank you, thank, uh, thank I'm you really for being here. I'm excited to see bro. where this podcast keeps on going, bro. You Tell know, you like I'm again, like not every uh, episode is gonna be as like politically charged as this one, or it, or it fucking might be. Who fucking knows? Mm. You know what I mean? Like we're just gonna have shit to talk about, and you know, uh, this is just one of the many shows that I'm trying to like do. I guess like I, I really want the shut out back to be like a multifaceted thing mm. where like you know there's the shout out back and I have my own little solo thing if I want to like like if I want to or it's this mm. you know I just wanted to be like a like an umbrella so uh, I hope y'all enjoyed yo I'm gonna just deafen and like do a little outro and then I'm gonna still be in the car but I'm gonna turn my camera off alright you good you good alright bro I'll be back alright chat alright chat how we feeling how we feeling you thought I was feeling you